back from the break. The Ghana Communication Technology University, GCTU, has unveiled its premier robot ever, built entirely by the engineering faculty and students. The robot, which is named Royal de Robo, was unveiled on Friday, July 31st, before an expectant university community. We would interact with them in our InFocus segment, and you know all about Royal de Robo. Hello and welcome back to another edition of the In Focus segment with me, Anita Yayuagbeku. Well, you know, on this platform, we celebrate the achievements and contributions made by individuals and organizations to the educational sector. Well, today, we are celebrating the achievement of a school and its individuals, I mean scholars. Scholars and Casa, yes, on this platform because they have innovated something really amazing and special. So I want to share with you all on this platform. We are here at the Ghana Communication Technology University and we are going to speak to some of the students and also we have the privilege of speaking to the Dean of Students here. So you get to know all about whatever innovation they have created so we we'll delve right into the conversation hello and welcome to the in focus segment with me thank you wow i mean i'm honored to be here because you were scholars and you? yes it's a pleasure yeah. well could you kindly introduce yourself to us all right so my name is dr Ruby Albuquerque. i'm the dean of the faculty of engineering at amazing that's beautiful. I mean, I'm sure you are very proud of your <laughs> students right now. I am. Right. We, we'll delve right into that soon. Can I please know who you are? I'm Aaron Wojaba. Right. Aaron? Will Jabba. Will Jabba. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm Catherine Kume. Catherine Kume. Kume. All right. And I'm Jamie Michael. Amazing. I'm honored. And we have the whole team here. You, you, <laughs> like, it's a pleasure. Yes. Well, so, Madam Rudia, yes. yes, could you kindly tell us a little about the university and then you delve right into this innovation that has been done? Thank you so much for the question. And then thank you to your listeners as well. Right. Yeah, so Ghana uh, Communication Technology University, formerly Ghana Telecom University, started in 2006, okay? And I was pleased to be the, part of the first batch of the university. Wow. So I started my program here in 2006 and completed in 2010. So from there, I think we had our chapter in 2020, so now we are a fully-fledged government university. Okay. Yes, so. That is it. Amazing. Okay, so now about the initiative that was, has been brought out there, the main reason why I'm actually here. I mean, what brought about that? And is it because this school opens up for students to show their capabilities and all that is why we are here today for this innovation or to tell about or talk about this innovation? All right, so let me continue from where I stopped, right. introducing the mm. school. Yes, yeah, so Ghana Communication Technology University is a center of excellence in ICT, first of all. It has a national center of excellence in ICT, and that's the charter we're given. Okay? So through that, that means that all the students that are being nurtured by the university are supposed to be innovative. Right. So as much as possible, I, the dean of the faculty of engineering, spoke with some of the faculty members, including the lab instructors, okay. that we needed to do something that would represent or portray what we do as engineers here. So uh, from our uh, in and out talks, we ended up thinking of getting something like a robot. Okay. It didn't start with a robot actually, but it started from somewhere and gradually we got to building a robot. Wow, she has let out the secret. So we are here because a robot has been created and you are going to know all about it very soon. Right, that is amazing, a robot. Hey, when you say robot, I mean, everybody's like, so you tell, um, take this for me and you take it, do this for me. Wow. So what is the main purpose of this robot? All right, as said earlier, it's supposed to portray what we do here as uh, a faculty. Okay. So with the faculty of engineering, we have four programs. 
they have we do the we have the department of mathematics right. we have the department of electrical and electronics engineering we have the department of telecommunications engineering and also the department of computer engineering so four four departments in the faculty so as much as possible we wanted to do something that would i mean have a connection to all the departments so that, that was how we began so first of all, let's do something that would have some a little of telecom, a little of computer, wow. a little of electric cars. And knowing that electric cars is the bedrock of technology, yeah. everything was put together to come out to the, that initiative. And that is the robot we had. I'm Sitting I'm down and then telling you everything about the faculty, the job prospects, the programs we do, and also the admission requirements that uh, oh, okay. you need to have before you can enroll in any of the programs. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, Aaron, I want to know how it was like being on the team to create something like that. Okay, it's, it's a privilege and it wasn't easy. It's, it's a big challenge because I've not done something like that personally before. I'm more into software. So okay. blending software and hardware, it's, it was a challenge. It was something new to me and I was ready to face it. So when I, it was brought to me, I was like, why not? Let me try this new challenge and hopefully it worked very well. And I'm hoping to do better. Right. So when you say when it was brought to me, who brought it to you? <laughs> well, the lab instructor. Right. We have a lab instructor here. Whenever we learn the theory in class, we come here and he help us with the practical stuff. So he approached me and was like, I know you do software stuff. Your friends talk about you. So oh, okay. um, I'd like to bring this forward. And what do you think about it? I didn't even think about it. I was like, yes, this is something I would like to do. So You didn't think about it. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> this, is, this, this is something I've been looking forward to do. And me being able to be part of a team with someone who can guide me, why not? Then I took the opportunity. And this is why I've become so far. Yes. I mean, you guys are here today, and I'm here with you both. It's, it's amazing. I mean, you all can know how excited I am by the way I'm talking. It's, 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 it's amazing. Catherine, okay, so when the idea was pitched to you, did you think that, hey, how, how? Why did he come to me? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah how, was, how, how did you feel? Okay, when he first told me, I was surprised. Like, I was like, can they do it? Can they? I think. Yeah. So, um, days going, we we're doing it, and finally it was it was a success. <laughs> <laughs> it was a success. Hey. <laughs> so when it was, it became a success. How did you feel? And okay. did you the fact that you even asked that can they do it mm. means that you proud. doubted them? Like yeah. yes, at least we too we've done something. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yes, at least yeah. we've done something. So. Okay. Could you also tell us how the the feeling was like when you were asked to join the team to bring about such an amazing thing? Okay. So, personally, you realize that there have been a lot of um, projects coming up, projects that have been talked about for a while, mm -hmm. and now there is one that has actually emerged that has been developed. So, starting it and then talking about it. You know, at first it's just talking, and then with time it goes into development, and now now you see it out there. It's a, it's a it's a good feeling, actually. Yes, people pass by, you hear comments, people want to see what it does, <laughs> and then all that. It, it, it was a good feeling that after the talking, there was action after that. Yes, yes, that's that's interesting. So you all mentioned that this idea was brought to you by your instructor so we want to get the instructor here to hear from the horse's <laughs> mouth right so we are going on a quick commercial break and when we come the instructor will join us here and we'll hear from him personally we'll be right back You are welcome back and we have on the instructor who pushed the students and brought up the idea to bring about the robot. So we will interact with him now together with the students we have here to know all about it. Hello, sir. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So you are the brain behind <laughs> all of this. We are the brain behind <laughs> it. <laughs> right. Could you kindly introduce yourself to us? Well, my name is Gabriel Blanton Gidisu. 
I am a laboratory instructor here in Ghana Communication Technology University. What I do is that I teach practicals. Okay, when they take uh, theoretical uh, information that's from the lecture hall, they come here for, for practicals, that's hands-on training. So that's basically what I do here. Right, that's yeah. amazing. So what brought about the whole idea of the robot? Well, it's a long story, but to cut it short, my dean of faculty, Dr. Ruhiya, yes, uh, taxed me to bring up a, an innovation, mm -hmm. okay, a project that will be, I mean, shocking, that will showcase what the faculty is all about. So I called my students. We have a hub. Because of that, we, we called the students and they came around. We invited them okay. for us to think through what to do in order to... I mean, promote the faculty. So it all started in uh, we brainstorming okay, and then deliberating on what to do. I eventually, it came up that we have to build a robot. Okay. Okay. And we knowing that uh, the world is going to AI, okay, robotics, and all that. So we put in much effort to make it to make it look unique. We employed recycled materials. Yes, everything about the robot is recycled. Yes, that's what we did. Yes, we took everything from recycled materials. And then it came up as a success, a real success. Amazing. Mm. So how was the process like? When you, when you even say recycled, what are some of the things that you used? OK, so we are talking about empty containers. Yes. Uh, we are talking about metallic parts that are supposed to be thrown away. Okay. We are talking about motors that were not used Okay, yes, that's, that's it. Transistors, uh, we are talking about ICs that we took from uh, electronic waste. Right. Okay, so we have, if it is a television board, mm -hmm. we took IC from tele television board, we disordered some components and then we used them together. Then we were able to create this robot. Wow, these are things that usually as a normal person who doesn't even deal with um, technology, and all, I think that they are waste, so they can't be of any use and everything. And you guys use that to create this. We, we intend to create something unique, okay, so that where people think that something is waste, it's not actually waste. So you see, when you go to somewhere like Agogloshi, now it is in the, it's in the news, international news, that yeah. Ghana is among the filthiest countries in the world, okay. When you go to Agubu, you see the smoke that is coming from that place is serious. But we intend to change the country, okay, in order that we can recycle these waste materials and produce something useful. That's why we decided to use waste materials to, to build a robot. Right. So um, when this idea, uh, when the dean called you to come about an, an innovation or something, you could have chosen any other thing. Why a robot? Well, we are in the, in the era of digitization, we are in the era of uh, robotics and AI, okay. A time will come, we anticipate that the human brain will be transferred into a robot. Yes, that is on its way coming. So, okay. it's, it's a form of interesting, okay, innovative to create something to mimic a robot which will eventually become something like that. And so that's why we, we decided that. And then it, it also help market the faculty as in what we do and then inform people who want to our uh, prospects on the programs we do and how to get here. So we, 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 we brought all this together and then it's there, it's actually working. Amazing. I'm really proud of your team. So what are some challenges that you personally faced when you, you guys or the whole group was putting this project together? Okay, so I'm, am I supposed to talk personally or? Personally. A, okay, just yes. me. Okay, fine. So um, we had to use something like Arduino, okay? okay. So an Arduino has its own language and it's kind of not straightforward. Oh. It's, it's kind of hard and the things we needed it to do is very rare to find online, which means you have to come up with it yourself. Right. There are libraries there, but documentations are not really available. So putting them together was quite a headache. But God being so good, we were able to 
bring it together and make it happen. Even the speech synthesis and all the stuff. It wasn't easy doing it because I do know has a very small story space. Mm. So working with it and sound, a basic MP3 is more like three megabytes, four megabytes. I do know has less than that. So putting your code itself and then the sound it also speak it was a challenge, but we were able to work with it and make it successful. Okay, you mentioned that we were able to. So how did your instructor contribute to you overcoming this challenge? Well, he's more of um, hardware. Okay. So he knows what each hardware, like literally each, each hardware is doing on their board. Okay. Right. So he came with a way that these are the hardware storing the data. This is the hardware processing the data. So this is how they work. They work with logic gates, zeros and ones and all the stuff. So instead of us putting the data as it is, we can convert into a particular format, which will make it easier for the processors okay. to process them. Right. So instead of us just giving it raw audio, raw files, we convert it into a particular format which will make it easier to process and also make it lightweight so that it can store it on the board rather than getting a different component which would have to buy, which will not make it a recycled product. Yeah. Right. That, that's interesting. And everything you said, I may have the idea, but I think doing it practically or having a fair touch of the experience myself would have would have given me more understanding of it but i feel like it's a very complicated kind of issue uh, simple but simple. not familiar <laughs> <laughs> amazing michael i'm sure you also encountered a challenge some way can you share with us okay so for myself i i, I i'm not into hardware mm. you realize that most of the the, the doing of the robot or the coming up of the robot is the hardware and then yes myself i'm not into hardware and so it was it was a bit of a challenge but one thing i've realized is that when our lab instructor brings to you an idea <laughs> he pitches the idea like it's something simple <laughs> and so <laughs> I it, see. It, it helps you to know that he, he he pitches it in a way that he he knows that you can do it even though you have never um, encountered such right a challenge or such such a project before the way he pitches the idea the way he brings about it the way he talks about it like we have heard he knows everything about mm -hmm. the hardware yeah. and so it was all about learning from him and being able to do it as well so even though there were challenges along the road even though from the start this robot i i, I didn't know anything about mm -hmm. it yes even i'm into software so there was nothing about the hardware that i knew but with time you realize that working on it it became it became a success it was good enough yes so mm -hmm. we learned a lot from it so the challenges at the end of the day became learning experiences right yeah. so now would you say that you have a fair idea of the hardware kind of exactly I mean, the point yeah. right so how long did it take you all as a team to i mean finish this work or like bring it together okay so I, I, I can't really give an estimated <laughs> time. Okay, that, I yes, think your instructor yes, will be exactly the best person. Because it, it, it was right from thinking about it, deliberating on it, which was on a side, right to a side of the building. So I think that is the best person to answer that question. Right, yeah. sure, no problem. Okay, so can you tell us how long it took you to accomplish this? All right, so from the time we started uh, deliberating, okay, trying to put ideas together, uh, that would have taken us two weeks, okay. But the composition, the building, actually took us two months. Two months. Two months. Wow. Mm. Because we build and then we we dismount. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Severally, I will give you some pictures for you to see. Right. Yes, we are here. Sometimes we spend the night here together, work as a team. We build, we say that no, this doesn't look nice. Then we break it down. Mm. Then we build again. So it's a continual thing till we got to the final outcome, which is uh, it took us two months wow. to complete it. So do you recall exactly how many times you had to dismantle everything? Yes, about four times. Four? Yes. Why but did you give up? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a team, teamwork. Yes. We do, we never, nobody gave. We, we, we fought and fought till we got it. So did you encounter a student who may have had the doubt that you would put all of this together? I didn't encounter any of such a student because I knew the people I invited and they were all working, working, working until we achieved it. They were always contributing, giving us hope that oh, we can do it. Yes. So they attached all interest to the project. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's nice.
Catherine. So we have been talking about a robot. We've been talking about some of the things that we put into it. Now I want you to tell us what exactly is the name of this robot. What exactly? The name, the name of the robot. Okay. Um. I, I would like to say something. Mm -hmm. You see? <laughs> The robot actually, the name has a meaning. Okay. Uh, I would like to tell you the history behind the name. The name. After we put up everything, it was left with giving it a name. Okay. So we sat down. The dean brought up, let's name it Edu Robot. Edu Robot. Robot. Then she went, sat down for some time, and came again. So no, 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 no. Let's name it. Royal the Robo. Okay. Yes, Royal the Robo because we we had it's unfortunate uh, one student is not among us here. They had other uh, duties to perform. There are stu uh, foreign students among us. Okay. So that French component, okay. Mm -hmm. So that give it the Robo, right? So the name is Royal the Robo. The Royal comes from. The, the 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 royalty of the VC of this uh, school. Oh, okay. Yes, and he has the, the university at heart. Okay, he wants to make here the Silicon Valley of Africa. Mm -hmm. Yes. So because of that, we gave you the name Royal D. Robo. Yes, yes. Amazing. So that's it. <laughs> Royal D. Robo. Okay. So I remember the dean also says that. It um, encompasses some of the programs and things you have here. When initially you mounted it and it started to talk, how was the reaction? Wow, that's a good question. <laughs> you could you could tell the atmosphere. Everybody was amazed. They came around, started trying to, I mean, interact with it. Okay, study how it behaves and all that. And it was amazing. It, it, it's amazing. It's a good feeling to be part of the team. And I was I was so grateful i was so happy to have a team that is ready to work to achieve such a such a goal i'm clapping for all of you you've done an amazing job you've done marvelously well you know nowadays we are in a, an era where social media and everything so when you talk about technology science engineering we have students running away from such courses Aaron. We do have students running away from such courses. So what are your thoughts on the reason why we have students running away from such courses? I mean, that is the reason why you are all here today. So tell us some reasons you think may be the cause of that. Um, I think it's because of there's, there's, a, there's some kind of misconception about engineering courses. Okay? Okay. People look at it as a course for geeks. People as a way of call like yeah, it's a misconception. Okay. okay. Engineering is a course for anybody. So far as you are ready to do it, you can do it. Mm. So you don't need to be geeky. All you need is time. So if you are not ready to sacrifice time, that's when you would feel like shying away from the engineering course. Engineering course needs time. You take time, you understand everything will eventually make sense. But you don't have to understand everything on day one. Okay. Day one is not the day for you to understand everything. It's a process. Understand the basics, the rest will come together. But the excuse that most people give is that you have to have a background of maths. And people shy away from maths a lot. So that is the reason why they are not engaging with the engineering courses. I'm not really good with maths. Okay? Okay. I don't have a good record in maths if I show you my set. <laughs> <laughs> why you laugh? No, you, you, you wouldn't believe it, but... Really? Yeah, we don't need complex maths, okay? We need the basics. Okay. okay. You build on the basics. Simple finex. We are like, what's the use of finex? We're using our daily life. We just don't know how. So that's where he comes in. So he makes it more practical. You see, we do it, you understand it. The maths we do is usually just write, write, write. But here we show you where you have to apply it. And then to make okay. sense, then you're like, oh. So all, all of you be struggling with class. This is how we use it then it becomes more clear so when you, when you go to class you, you begin to improve so you don't necessarily have to be the best mathematician just understand the basics simple equations simple addition and subtraction you'll be able to do it so what you're trying to say is that sometimes the theory is what brings the problem but immediately you start doing it practically you, be, you begin to understand that is 
it's not that difficult it's not so complex exactly amazing catherine how do you feel you want to add something okay sure also the reason why most people run away from technology is that they have this mindset that there'll come a time that for example these robots will rule the world they'll hmm. bring the world to an end okay and those kind of things so if maybe you are into it Maybe if maybe you are into it, like they feel like me going into it, it will lead to something that at the end of maybe the world, it will bring destruction. Or for example, when we posted um, the robot, okay, I think piece of was so. I saw a comment that see we are following these things. Meanwhile, these things are the same things that will bring the world to an end. Oh. That's not a good thing. <laughs> about okay. It. It's like that grading the course, but if you see into it, you could know say IT engineering. We 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 daily use technology. Yeah, yes, using everything our phones. we use technology, so it has much advantage and all the thing. Right, you are a lady, and we don't sometimes we have people or our parents outsiders may have the perception that oh the. A lady, what are you doing with engineering? Do you understand? And we have ladies also who have accepted that engineering is not their cause. It's for men. <laughs> yes. We have people with that perception. So as a lady, what do you have to say about that? Okay. To me, me personally, I really love robots. Like robotics, anything about it. I okay. So I think that, like, I wouldn't say I'm following the trend of maybe bringing the world to an end <laughs> <laughs> some years to come. Okay. Because with me, if you ask me, I'll be like, okay, fine, we have robot pets. They can also do things that mm -hmm. are important. Yeah. It's not always maybe the human robot and things. Like, they can help with mm -hmm. our home staff and other things. Sure. I mean, the world is advancing. So you need to advance with it. Technology is advancing. Yes. You need to advance with it. Michael. What do you think about this um, perception that students have about technology, science, engineering, mathematics? What do you think about it? And for now, I mean, there is more of STEM-related courses and STEM-related schools. They have a school for STEM courses. What do you have to say to students out there who have the perception that, I mean, it's too difficult a course for me to go and pursue, or even if I pursue it, getting the materials or items i heard such things are very expensive is is way beyond me what would i do about it what do you have to say to such students okay so to such students there's nothing that is actually easy mm -hmm. no matter the course you enter into there's going to be some difficulties but when it comes to engineering at least you see the practicality of it you right. see it out there um i could say that all the students who think that um this um engineering technology and everything is difficult i think they all use phones and it is as a result of someone who took the step into the course they are running away from and mm -hmm. so it is it is you can do it everyone can do it engineering is it's not it's difficult just like any other thing in this world is difficult it's just you just have to put your mind to it be ready to learn to be ready to in, um to invent stuff and then i think that you'll be fine with it right from here where do you see yourself from here mm -hmm. Ah, I see myself at a lot of places. <laughs> <laughs> Share with us uh, some places you, you see okay, yourself. Okay, so because I'm into software, I see myself um, working in big companies, working wow. on my own, trying to bring um, innovative stuff into the world, working with the school especially because mm -hmm. this is where I started from. This mm -hmm. is where our lab instructor, the dean, and everyone is trying to help us. And so they are the ones trying their best to impart knowledge into us. And so, yes, we are trying to make Ghana Telecom a good one. So I see myself doing great stuff here as well. Amazing. Yeah. Ghana is proud of you already. <laughs> okay. Well, I told you we have the whole team here. So I want us to take a quick break and then we'll interact with them and get to hear their views also. We'll be right back. You are welcome back. So we have some of the students here and we are going to interact with them about their experiences while creating the Royal Dirobo. So hello, my dear. 
can you kindly introduce yourself for us? So my name is Arnold Andrew Akrupia. I'm a third year student, computer engineering student of this school. Right. Arnold, how was, okay, before I even ask that question, how did you hear about the idea, the initiative? How was it presented to you that we want to do something like this? And who presented that idea to you? So I heard from the lab instructor himself. Okay. He told there were some of us in the lab that particular day and we came to meet some logs here. I mean, when you look outside, the robot sits on a log, so yeah. a log of wood. So we came to meet the logs and we're trying to find out what the logs were doing here because an engineering lab with wooden <laughs> logs, it doesn't, you know. Uh -huh. So we're trying to find out what the logs were going to be used for. And then that was when he brought the idea to us that um, there was something happening. We're going to make something for the faculty and all that. Yeah. Okay, so when you heard about it, how interested were you to participate? And did you think that there will be, I mean, you all will be able to accomplish something like that? Um, I, I would say that personally, I was pleased to hear something like that because we've been doing mini practicals, you know, in class, but doing something big, we had never been part of. So this opportunity was going to be a chance for us to experience something big like this. Yeah. But I would say that definitely we knew there were going to be challenges. It wasn't going to be all rosy from the beginning. So it's, it, it had to be a matter of psyching ourselves to see that if any challenge comes, we just try to find our way around it to solve the problem and then at the end of the day achieve the results that we needed to achieve. Yeah, so that was how we all just... Right, so for the third time that you had to dismantle the project that you had spent so many t so much time putting together how did you feel um being part of something for the first time like this and having to dismantle it a third time you might be a little tense like trying to find out if there's something you're supposed to do which you're not doing right but eventually like um my colleague said our lab instructor always knows what to do you know to guide you right because he has broad knowledge into hardware so he will guide you you know come up with ideas everyone brainstorming coming up with ideas and then at the end of the day we were able to produce the results that we wanted right that's amazing so i want to hear from the gentleman behind um i want you all to share one experience each you had been on this project um, I'm Albert Atuyebwa. Albert, right. So um, when you look at the, the English word to engineer, mm -hmm. engineer is somebody who designs, okay. builds and maintains machines or any kind of structure. Right. So the, the word engineer itself is actually built into the fabric of life. In our daily life, we, we build things. Okay. We have to come up with things that involves processes and then steps. So being able to come together and then complete a project like this. It has given us um, things that even when we live here for the rest of our lives, I mean, it has become an integral yeah. part of us to watch the steps, the challenges and stuff. The, the experience is invaluable. It's not Amazing. something that you can even use words to describe. Yeah, I Amazing. know that for, for a fact, when you go somewhere, be like, I was part of a team sure. which created a robot. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's really something to brag about and it's amazing please share an experience with that okay my name is Emmanuel Ohine Nyante um, AI is taking over the world and as young guys coming into the industry we need to make sure that we can also impact the knowledge we have here to our motherland right then there are technologies improving it's evolving we also have to also move forward, join the trend, also find ways and means to solve daily problems we have and move forward with whatever we have to do. So it was a, it was a big deal. It was really a big deal for us to do something like this. And at the end of the day, it's paying off. So it's, it's really encouraging. And as young ones, as ourselves, we, it's an honor we hold. And forever where we go, it will be an honor to carry. Amazing. That's great. What about you? Yeah. I'm in a bush up here and I'm into 
um, solving problems in science and stuff. That's what I like to do. Okay. Actually, my main thing is like to learn a lot of stuff, whether science, whether physics, whether astronomy, whether um, being it um, the electrical side. I like to do all of it. So um, as time just went on, I have these two friends that I often come to the lab with. And as usual, we just sit here, do um, stuff like on our own, do our research stuff, and also do um, stuff that our lecturers give to our like, uh, maybe assignments right. and other project works. We do. So as time went on, as our lab instructor said, yeah, the idea was allocated to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then we were like, oh, yeah, we are so interested in doing it. So therefore, like, we just went into it and just followed alongside with him, doing like their processes, yes. outline what you should do, the company, as in the company that we should ask, that, like, it was really challenging and very tedious. Like, me, like, as in me personally, into research stuff. So I wasn't really into the hardware, but no one, mm, like, said, um, I came up with this idea. This company will really help us do this work and get it. Yeah. So my experience with this robot was like um, I got to learn a lot of new stuff. Yeah. As then went on, it was really great in involving myself in this project. Right. So we hear from the last person. What What was your experience putting all of this together personally? Okay, um, my name is Brian Wilson, right. and um, it was a very fun experience. It was very fun doing practical stuff. And I think in Ghana, a lot of students don't get to do okay. things like this. We just learn in the classroom, the theory, but I've had a chance to do something very practical, and I think it was very fun. Amazing. That's beautiful. Um, so I want to know, for the team, is, is there something we should expect from you? And apart from this robot, do you plan on doing something else? I mean, you've done this and you've succeeded. That gives you the impression that any other thing or many other things to come, you may be able to um, achieve it or it may be a success. So what are some of the plans you have? Um, okay, so we've already started something new. Okay. Though we are planning on upgrading the robots. Oh. Yeah, we do plan on upgrading it. It does some basic stuff. We want to improve on it because we just want to leave it there. We start something, improve it until it gets somewhere you believe that it's okay. And definitely there will be sometimes you will also want to improve it again because mm -hmm. WhatsApp still sends us updates. Yes. What, <laughs> what else do we expect? So right. there are new things that will be coming up. But I have already started a new project. It's a, a cleaning bot. It's also a robot kind of and it cleans mobs and all those stuff it's also a work in progress we're almost done but we want to add some finishing touches before we officially release yeah. it out yeah and the other stuff you all personally have um, personal projects we're also working on oh, okay. each, each and every one of us so that will also come out as part of the hubs innovations as well right that is amazing i've had a wonderful time interacting with you and i'm sure you guys also had a wonderful time <laughs> <For sure. laughs> yes and it's an honor being here with a group of people who have created a robot and they call it royal the robo it's amazing and i hope that you keep doing this good work so aaron i want you to talk on behalf of your team speak um to our audience encourage them to venture more into engineering technology science maths um, courses and also give us your last words okay so um what i want to say on our behalf is um science is not scary science is fun and it's not for geeks it's for everyone so don't run away from science don't let math scare you because i'm not good at math but see me here so you can also do it right. and we would like to see you around here we would like to see you on campus you can come to ghana communication technology university Abaka Junction, um, Tesano. So you can come and join us, and we'd love to have you here. We also we also train each other. So you come, just feel free, engage, and you learn stuff. Thank you. Right. Well, it's been a wonderful conversation with students of the Ghana Communication Technology University. 
they were the ones who innovated a robot and it's called royal the robo and it's been an amazing time talking to them well we also want you our viewers to know that in the month of september we want to celebrate academic performance so if you have friends if you have any sibling out there who has received about five awards you can get in contact with us then we'll have the person here on the edu news 360 infocus segment for them to share their story with us so i'll see you next time and it's bye bye for now my name is anita yayak beku it's another beautiful month do you have anyone you want to celebrate send details to us and let Joy Lane in wish that special person. It's time to wish your loved ones well on that special occasion. Is it the birthday or anniversary of your child, friend, classmate, your schoolmate, your teacher, or non-teaching staff of your school? The all-new JL Birthday Wish by Ghana's number one educational TV channel hits your regular classroom screen. And as usual, it is time for Jack to play and have fun. It has been made easy for you, and this is how. Send a picture of your loved ones. Add their names school and location and a heartwarming birthday message and finally follow us on official joy learning tv on instagram like the jl birthday wish post and tag five friends send it to our whatsapp line 0247-108-738 and voila your birthday wish will be aired on joy learning tv and all our social media platforms learning is made fun with the jl birthday wish joy learning keep learning where we draw the curtain on edu news 360 catch the same time next week and my name is anita yariak beku